Brains, it's me, True Ryans. How are you? I hope you guys are doing well. I am not really doing the best, so I'm going to be talking about a few things. First of all, hi, YouTube. It's been forever. I am so sorry. Uh, this is what kind of has been happening. I've been having a lot of fun over on Twitch. Actually, as we speak right now, we're at around 591 uh, followers, which is absolutely insane. I have not forgotten about you, I promise. I've just been having a lot of fun live streaming. It's something that I never thought that I'd get really into, but this year, it has been so much fun. I'm so grateful for it. I'm so grateful for everyone that I've met. I've met some wonderful other VTubers that I, I consider frown family and friends, and I've been doing a lot of fun collabs. There's been so much going on. I've even done uh, some really silly things, like watching Mort Theory, um, you know, by the theorizer. So, okay, let, let me take a step back. Let me take a step back. So, as a kid, the thing I was most afraid of in this world wasn't Harry Potter's um, Voldemort or Bellatrix, even though I read them at a ridiculously young age. Um, it was Mort from, from Madagascar. Liz listen, listen, I'm not crazy because he's absolutely terrifying, and it's been so much fun watching those for the first time with my chat, and, um, we've had so many ridiculous moments because of that. Like, I now have a redeem on my channel where you can crush me with a giant banana because, in Mort Theory, um, there's, like, a banana that's, like, a sky god. It, it's really weird. It's really weird. Just, just go watch it, and then it won't make sense, okay? Um, but don't, don't, don't leave this video yet. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, when we got the new Loves track, sorry, <clears throat> Love Struck uh, expansion, I saw that rug and immediately thought, okay, stereotypical uh, lovers in front of a fireplace on the bare skin rug. Also like for the fact that in the in-game item um, actually says that no animals were harmed. So I like to think it's a fake bare skin rug, which is wonderful. Uh, but it also makes me think, what has happened to all of the actual animal rugs in history? Like, who has those? Are they, like, in museums or something? I, I have no idea. It's just it's just a weird thing I was thinking of. Also, I apologize if you guys can hear my voice starting to die. I'm currently really sick. Um, I'm gonna tell you guys what's going on with that, if that's okay. And then we're gonna get back into, like, talking about the build. So, um, the other day, I finally got a hold of a doctor. And it's been really hard to get doctors where I live. Because there's a huge doctor scarcity in, um... Pretty much the whole world, but especially in my part of America. And it's been really hard to get anywhere. And I didn't want to go to the hospital to take away resources from anyone. Well, I finally got a hold of someone. And they urged me to go to the ER or prompt care. And then they immediately sent me to a nurse line. And I told them about everything that was going on. And they were like, girl, why didn't you go to the ER? You should have gone, like, yesterday. Shame on you. And I'm like, I don't know. I'm just a gecko. Obviously, I can't tell them that, so I was like, okay, uh, I just didn't know. And she's like, okay, well, you need to go. So I called up the people I needed to go with, and yeah, I'm not, I haven't been able to go. It's been so busy over there since there's not that many people, and there's so many other more important stuff going on that I'm just waiting. So I'm supposedly going to be going to the hospital or prompt care, uh, later today, and today's Friday, or on Saturday, and I'm a little nervous about it because I don't like needles. Anyway, let, let's talk about the build. So, um, whole entire idea about this build is that I want it to be a nice, fun escape that you can go to, because if you're not familiar with the Lovestruck, um, pack that just launched, it's, um, formed in, like, I think Mexico City. I think it's based heavily off of Mexico City, because they even have oxalotls in the game now. Um, and it's very bustling, it has a lot of city life, a lot of things to do, and I thought, you know what, it would be kind of nice to have a little escape. Um, you can take your, your romantic partner or your whole family over here. Um, I also very briefly tried to get, like, actual paintings from the game in here, too. Um, I think I only have one in here, and it's, like, a Fisher thing, but I had a lot of fun making this. Um, there's a lot of pauses because I made this on a voice call with my wonderful partner and his brother, who we're just gonna call Jamal for this, um, for this speed bill. Like, me and Jamal were, were hanging out and we were talking a lot, and I was also singing a lot of songs too. Um, I don't know if you guys know this song, but the Aristotle 
shampoo pot like that one i was listening to that like on repeat and that and also the windows update one um which was really fun but yeah i had a lot of fun with this i looked on pinterest for a lot of inspiration but a lot of it came from my noggin uh, which was very surprising because um as i was building this my body was feeling like i got hit by like a thousand trucks throughout the whole entire thing and i just haven't been feeling that well um but besides that i've been having a great time on twitch I highly recommend you guys come by and hang out. I stream almost every day, unless something happens that I have to take a break from. Usually my breaks are on Thursdays, but uh, we had to cut Gek Week short, which was supposed to be this week. And Gek Week is our uh, beach episode week kind of thing. Um, I'm parodying Shark Week. Don't come after me, Shark Week. We love you. But Shark Week has been done so much. It is time to give it a break. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I wanted to have Gek Week, and it's been so much fun. So many people have come out um, to support me, and it's been so wonderful. I also put a bunch of goals up, and we didn't hit all the goals, but that's fine. We've had a great time. We've been fishing a lot. Um, we've played Dave the Diver, Coral Island. We finally found those mermaids at Coral Island, because we've been trying to play Coral Island for a year now to try to get those dang mermaids, and those mermaids are just so freaking... Um, elusive that it's been a hard time trying to find them it's been insane and then we finally unlocked them and it was so great and i'm so glad i got to do that on camera um some other really cool things that we're gonna be doing soon we're gonna be doing an art event for charity if i do get this out today then you'll know that next monday um is when i'm gonna be making art for charity because i was invited by a few other vtubers that are my friends to make some art and um you know, auction it off for charity. So if you want to help support charity and you want some art, um, please do check out my channel. Again, that's uh, True Orions on Twitch. Uh, I actually finally got rid of the, the. Uh, I hated the, the. And I have a funny story about that. So the reason I had the, the there, <laughs> it's not so stupid saying that. Ah, and I'm not even talking about the build. I don't even, oh well. You know what, who cares, who cares? You guys are just here hanging out anyway. So, um... I had it there because I had Drew Orions as a different thing um, when I started my channel and I messed up and realized that I accidentally put the there, the, the there, and since you can't really put True Orions um, into Twitch again because you already have something there because they're trying to avoid um, plagiarism with names, I had to wait six months and then uh, it turned into almost a year and I decided to like just do it randomly just on a random Tuesday, and I'm glad I did. Anyway, back into the build. So right here, we're making a very moody green uh, kitchen because I looked up on Pinterest um, different, like, cabin uh, cabin kitchens, and I wanted a kitchen that made you feel like you could go in there in the dead of night and it would still feel the same way in the day, and you just make the most killer uh, pies. I don't know why I, I put it like that, but I did, okay? There's a lot of fish motifs in this um cabin and I thought that would be kind of funny because it's kind of a subtle rep reference to um maybe not that subtle but there's a the new love struck um dating app there's there's an opportunity for you to see sims that are holding up a, a fish for the dating profile thing which I thought was kind of funny because in my head I was like okay maybe you ended up marrying or you're trying to go on a date with said fish sim so why not take them to this cabin that's kind of obsessed with fish and there's all kinds of cool things you guys can do here like there's wine racks you guys can get um wine bottles and bring it in there i should have had a thing that you can make your own but i decided not to i tried to make a basement here but it kind of glitched out everything but thankfully i fixed that foundation that was broken um through doing that so my adhd um getting distracted by everything actually came in handy um so I really, really like how this kitchen turned out. I did try at one point to um, order a pie in the game to put on that little um, cake thing, but unfortunately it didn't work, and I wish it did, and it didn't, sadly. Also, this place is um, cat-friendly. At the very end of this, I actually put a litter box into that small um, bathroom at the bottom, but I'm really happy with how this came out. I really like it. I'd honestly live here if I could. Although, I don't know about the bear rug. What do we think about the bear rug, guys? Do you think it's a little weird? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> 
sorry. Hopefully I'm not coughing and being gross in your guys' ears that much. But I hope you guys are doing well. And hey, if no one tells you this in your day-to-day -day life, I'm so glad that you're alive and that you're alive during the same time that I am. And um, you make such a wonderful difference just being yourself in this world. And um, I believe in you and we all believe in you. And if it's your birthday, happy birthday. And if not, have a good day anyway. Have a good day anyway. I do think that um, there's just been so much negativity lately everywhere that it's just good to hear some, like, good things. Get some good affirmations. Go and, and say some good things about yourself, okay? You got this. No matter what you're going through, you got this. And know that it might pass, like, a kidney stone or it might pass, like, a freaking gallbladder or whatever, but you're going to get through it, okay? You're going to get through it. I believe in you. I have no idea how this voice thing is going to turn out. I'm going to be level with you guys. I feel so sick. <laughs> but I'm happy that I'm doing this at least because I'm trying to get back into editing because editing has been really hard to do for me because I really love streaming and I've been doing it a lot. And then I put all my effort into streaming and in things IRL and I'm also planning a wedding um, next spring and I've gone through like a lot of like health, like scary health episodes that just saps my, my strength and it kind of gives me depression a little bit and I uh, found out I have ADHD so I've been trying to navigate all that a lot so I'm sorry I haven't been on YouTube much or really editing any of my VODs. I have almost like a thousand VODs now and all of them need to be edited and you guys haven't seen any of them and I'm a little overwhelmed by it but it is what it is and I'm gonna try to get get through it. Um, I have a lot of sunflower motifs all, all ba, 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 ba. sorry I can't speak. Blah. I have sunflower motifs all throughout this whole entire house because I really like sunflowers and they make me really happy and I was building this while I was just feeling absolutely terrible and it made me smile so please just ignore the sunflowers if you don't like them you can always just go ahead and change out my builds I don't care um just don't put it back up on on like your own thing saying it's completely yours because I think that's kind of crummy but I mean it's just the sims um <laughs> I really like the new pack except a few things I know this might be a little bit of a controversial opinion but I do not like the uh woohoo costumes I think they're a little bit unneeded and especially if you're like younger and you play the sims you just basically made it impossible for for younger people to play the sims um without being um you know without seeing that stuff which kind of makes me a little uncomfy but then again the sims has kind of never really been for kids so it kind of makes sense that they decided to bring that in because the sims franchise has always been slightly like lack of a better word raunchy so it makes sense that they brought it in I just personally don't like it, and I'm looking for a mod to get rid of the costumes. Like, there's certain costumes that I just do not want to find random sim sims um, walking through my world with, especially as a streamer and someone that wants to, like, record everything um, that I play in The Sims um, to YouTube, because I just don't think it's, like, YouTube-friendly, you know? And I, I completely understand if that's stuff that you're really excited about. I'm not trying to poo-poo on it or at all. I don't want to, like, cause any issues. But that's just my opinion, and if you guys can help me find a mod, I'd be so grateful. Because, like, right now, I feel a little bit awkward about it, because I know I'm gonna start doing a, uh, Sips 4, uh, Rags to Riches challenge with a new Lovestruck thing, a ma match with a few other packs, um, and I am gonna eventually go back to my Horse Ranch one. Um, I'm really happy to hear so many people actually really liked it. I didn't know what to think about it, it was my first time really trying to do, like, a series at all and I didn't really know who I was at that point um and I've grown older I've learned who I was a little bit more I think I can um uh, bring more life into it again and have more fun with it and I want to do that on Twitch um and I also want to do it on YouTube as well I think I might do like part partly uh days on YouTube and part partly days on Twitch so I think it would be kind of nice right but anyway um like I was saying this house has a lot of fish motifs and it's really fun. Um, I was talking about something else. I have no idea, guys. <laughs> I need to sleep. I need to eat, but uh, I don't want to sleep or eat. I love this children's bedroom that we make um, later on. It's so cute. I discovered an item that I never even knew that I needed in my life. The marble, the marble circle from For Rent. I love you. Whoever designed it and all the swatches, I love you because it's amazing and it made the whole entire children's room just feel a lot more happier. Also, this living room was so hard to figure out uh, how to uh, structure it and where it made sense 
and where it actually didn't feel like a huge mess or like something that just had way too many like things going on. Um, it took me a very, very long time. And if you guys could see that I've cut a lot of stuff out of this uh, speed build is because I repeatedly would stop and just stare at it and try to get my tired brain to work. It really, it really, really felt like this. It really 100% felt like this. I hope that those sound effects are going in. If not, it that was a uh, Windows um, disconnect sound. Um, my brain was just dead. And I even tried to do this hack with a fireplace in the main bedroom, but it just didn't work out. So I moved on with that. Like the main bedroom. Oh my gosh, that was such a pain. I wanted it to look upscale, but also cozy. And something you would see in a resort that you'd go to. Like, um, that you would, like, go and pay, like, good money to go to and stuff, because I imagine this is, like, a really nice, um, cabin that you can just rent and just be there for a few days, and honestly, you could also live in it, um, I mean, I'm not gonna judge you, totally go ahead and live in it, like, change whatever you want, I mean, um, I like having fun doing that with cer certain, you know, speed builds, I'll, like, go and find a speed build from YouTube that I really like, and I'll download it, and then I'll, like, change a few things and just play on it on my own because I've been playing The Sims since I turned 16 and that was a very very long time ago like I'm, I'm kind of old now um we kind of we kind of joke about it I'm not old old but I'm young old uh we joke about it a lot on my channel I say that I'm 500 years old and honestly at this point I'm just gonna adopt that <laughs> I'm just 500 years old okay guys okay guys 500 years old let's go I talk quite nice for a 500 year old but really, though, I have a lot of grandma tendencies, turns out. Um, my dad calls me the grandma gamer, which is kind of funny. And I've told a few of my IRL friends in my chat, and they've kind of adopted it a little bit, which is really funny. Because we um, got my old chair that I've had for a while that's been falling apart because of my cats. Um, we refurbished it and we put a bunch of sunflowers on it and it looks like a grandma chair in the best way possible and I also collect teapots I have a collection of like almost 50 teapots and I'm wanting to show it off on twitch soon because I've heard a few people want to actually see them but I'm trying to figure out how to do that without my face being doxxed um I don't really want my face to be a part of my channel or really anything I think because I think I, I, I like the idea of just keeping it um, a secret because you guys don't know what I look like. Maybe I'm like the Gorgon from Greek mythology. Or maybe I look like Britney Spears. Who knows? Who knows? I could literally be an actual gecko that learned how to speak. It is pretending to be an anime girl, pretending to be a VTuber, pretending to be a human. Maybe that's what's going on. Maybe, maybe. I mean, that would be kind of interesting, right? But we, we went through, like, all kinds of different parts of this build, but I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, I'm just really grateful for all the support and um, all the friends I've been making lately. I've never really had that growing up, so it's been really nice to see. Also, since my last video, like my actual last video I've made on YouTube, that was back when Shadow was really, really little. Shadow's about to reach a year old, and she's so sweet, and she still likes to talk on the mic and stuff, um, but she's so, she's so mischievous. So mischievous. Like, she'll keep us up all night long because she just wants to cuddle. And it's really cute, but it's also bad because we can't sleep. Um, so we have to kick her out of our bedroom all the time, and I feel bad about it because I just want to cuddle her. But, uh, she'll, she'll scratch and bite your toes, and she'll also go up and scratch your butt. And it sucks because you're going to be, like, sleeping on the side of the bed and you're, like, in your dreams and everything. And you just feel a terrible, like, scratch on your butt and you jump up and you're like, ah, what just happened? But, yeah. Um, she's just not allowed to sleep with us anymore, and it makes me kind of sad. I miss her, but we still give her a lot of love and attention and treats, and I still have been, um, giving the cats treats for, like, talking in the mic, because I think it's kind of cute, and I've trained them to do it, um, on accident, really, and I've just decided, you know what, just do it. Um, I really like this bathroom. I really like that red and that, um, tile combo, but it just didn't feel- it just didn't feel like the house, you know? It didn't feel like it was a part of this house. It felt like it was, like, a more upscale, um, apartment or something, or, like, a mansion, and I'm making a mansion, and I'm gonna put that in there, because I'm really excited about it. Honestly, we should probably talk about the love struck, uh, pack, and not everything else. I apologize, this is so all over the place, but hopefully you guys are enjoying it, right? So, um... I really like the new pack. I like all the gameplay that they added. I love the build by. I love the uh, cast. The cast is really good. Although the cast kind of scares me a little bit. I just, I just don't know. 
I don't know if there's ever going to be, like, a mod that will come out or will take, like, will make those, like, not so safe for work costumes go away because I don't really want to see them personally. Um, that was like one thing that I almost decided not to get the pack for, but I thought that the attraction system and the uh, dating app was worth it and they totally are. They're really great. I mean, The Sims 4 isn't without its issues. I mean, you if you have like all the packs, you would have spent like almost a thousand dollars or maybe a thousand dollars or well over it at this point. And since I've been doing this since um, I was 16, I'm kind of stuck in the money grab phase and I wish I wasn't because I, I decided to get this because I, I wanted to play it, okay? Um, and I'm glad I did because I really have been enjoying it. And if I'm enjoying it, then it's worth it. Um, but anyway, I just, I don't, I just don't know. I don't know how I feel about it because it just, it just kind of feels off. Because it's one of those things where I completely understand if you guys go and you get, like, mods to make the game, like, more realistic. Because that's a part of life, like, adult life. But personally, for me, I just don't like that. And I don't really watch very adult things anyway either. Like, I like watching cartoons and anime. And not even the anime where there's, like, gore and stuff. Because I can't handle gore. I watch a lot of anime where it's just funny, goofy stuff. And it's just funny, haha. Um... And same with cartoons. So I just, I just don't, I don't feel comfy with it. I don't know. I don't know. I'd love to hear what you guys think about it. I know I've talked about it a lot. But uh, besides that, I think the world is really cute. Not really that much stuff to do in the world. But I like the cool uh, quest line with the, with the blue bear. That was kind of weird. But the ring bearer, I love puns and I love that. That's so brilliant. I love it. Two pieces. I love it. I like the whole entire quest line. Although I think that the reward is kind of dumb. Not gonna lie. I hope that they kind of fix that in the future, but I don't know if they will. Um, I am a little sad to see that there's like this one item that came in with Lovestruck. It's like a small portable water tower. I'm kind of sad that they didn't put like the same um, gameplay with it. If you have for rent, but I'm really happy to see that you could finally make apartments if you have for rent on penthouse lots, um, which is amazing because like a lot of other simmers might tell you, um, the penthouses are just absolutely ridiculously too big uh, in like San Mysuno and stuff. And San Mysuno is like one of my most favorite packs of all time. Even though I personally don't really like cityscapes, it's kind of fun to make apartments for, um, for little townies I get attached to, but don't really want to make a whole house for them. And it's really, really nice. And I've been enjoying it. I really enjoy a lot of the, um, items that we've gotten in Lovestruck. Like I'm making a, like two other builds other than this, right? I'm in the process of making a, a mansion, based off of, like, this tiny little hippo item, which is really, really cute, and I also got inspired by the snake print, like, wallpaper, and I'm making a, um, giant snake apartment building, and it's really, really cool, and I'm almost done with it, and I'm really enjoying it, and I've never really lived in apartments or really visited anyone in apartments, so I don't know if apartments have pools and stuff, but this apartment has pool, okay? This apartment has a pool and a nice little courtyard, and an area that you can go and farm, and I think it's really nice. Okay, I think it's really nice. And I do use the the red tile and floor and ceiling. Not ceiling, sorry, the walls. Oh my gosh, I forgot to do the ceilings. No, I forgot to do the ceilings of the speed build. Oh my god, no, that's so embarrassing. I keep forgetting that the ceilings is a thing now. Um, what's your guys' favorite Sims 4 pack? Personally, I gotta say horse ranch. I I, I do. Like, the build was wonderful, the cast was wonderful, the gameplay was wonderful, I like horses, I may or may not be a horse girl, and I'm discovering that as a 500-year-old, but I am. And this is what I was talking about! I love those rugs! They're, like, the perfect little, like, adorable rugs for kids' rooms when you wanted to have, like, that cottagecore touch. And I didn't know that existed, and that's when I found it. And I love them so much. And I kind of want to have that, uh, that tulip rug because it's really cute. I was also kind of sad at this point, because I thought there would be, like, a Bigfoot, um, Don't Wake the Llama, but there isn't. It's just a Yeti, and there needs to be more justice for Bigfoot. Like, I really like that one little kit, like, little camper's kit, I think is what it's called. It has, like, all these cool, like, Bigfoot stuff, and I love it to pieces, because I really like, um, folklore and monsters and stuff like that, and I also love the fact that there is a uh, Bigfoot thing. Also, I spent way too long trying to make that into a nice little window seat, and we don't even do it. We just put a fireplace there, and we're just like, eh, whatever. Well, let's just move on. I really like that gallery wall. That gallery wall took me ages, and I was singing a few songs while I was doing it, too. Um, this room, 
really threw me for a loop. I wanted it to be really fun, but I didn't want it to feel like a complete, like, lumberjack thing, and I also didn't want to rely too much on an outdoor retreat. Sorry. <clears throat> on outdoor retreat. Oh, man, if you guys can hear it, I am, like, dying. Ah! I just hope I could go to the ER, prompt care, or whatever soon, so I can figure out what's going on, which is going to be really interesting, because I've been, um, trying to figure out what's going on with me, um, and get, like, a definite answer since 2019, and we think it's some kind of, um, immune system disorder, but now the lady I talked to on the phone, like, the head nurse or whatever, she was like, oh, it could be, like, a heart issue, so hopefully not, that'd be kind of scary, I don't want my heart hurting, anyway, um, I think I did okay. I think it did okay. I don't think it raids too much of Lumberjack, and it seems like an upper scale, um, like, nice bedroom that you'd want to go to. I also considered making a second, uh, build of this, just, like, a second thing of this, like, completely the same build, but without the little kid's room, and make it into another bedroom, because I imagine it would be kind of fun to go to, um, uh, as, like, with a bunch of people, like, you know, in college college-wise, and really you wouldn't see, like, a whole entire kid's bedroom there, but I don't know, I don't know. I mean, I like playing with kids in The Sims, and I like doing family gameplay, um, on my own free time. It's usually, a like, very, very wholesome stuff because it makes me really happy, so I, I can already imagine me taking a few of my favorite, um, Sims families over here for a nice little vacation because, um, another really big gripe I have with The Sims 4 is the vacation worlds. I want to live in the vacation worlds, except for Journey of Batu. I don't like Journey of Batu. I'm sorry, I don't. I do not at all. I only have it because of the nice build and buy. I, I just, I just don't do it. I really need to, like, give Star Wars a chance. I haven't had a chance to. Um, really, because I've just been so busy, but I, I don't know, I don't know. Do you guys like it? I mean, I know that James Turner, or Sim Supply, um, he goes by James Turner now, I'm pretty sure, um, that he really likes it, but I did use that pack, I'm so sorry, I used that pack for the stones, and also this was not a limited pack. I just wanted to build to feel better, and it did help me feel a lot better, and I'm really happy I got to do it, and I went and searched in, um, debug a lot so a lot of the stuff that you're seeing outside is debug and I'm really happy with how the lake turned out I think it's so pretty and I would spend all my time here uh fishing if I could I really would and I really love the plants that I that I pulled in there I think they're really pretty um I wanted to do a little bit more of this build like I I wanted to have a basement and in the basement I wanted it to be like a wine cellar and then have, like, a fool's table. A fool's table? Fool's table? How do you even say that? I have no idea. Anyway, we're getting really close to the end, and I really appreciate you guys listening to me jammer on and yabber on through this whole entire time. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much, and I hope to see you guys on Twitch or on YouTube. Uh, God bless you. Know that you are loved and appreciated, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching this and listening to me yap a little bit. Yay! Also, this is the last time that I will, uh, be putting the stupid treehouse on a build without just looking it up on the gallery and getting the actual built one. Because I decided to go and build it for you guys, and it took forever! So, I'm really glad it happened. Also, I almost put a water heater in here, but then my partner told me that water heaters don't actually, um, usually happen to be outside. For good reason. I didn't know that, so. I'm glad I asked him. And he knows his stuff because he knows HVAC. But anyway, anyway, hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, I'll see you guys around later. Have a good one. Bye.